The standard academic response to that is, look, Antarctica's been frozen for millions of years these days, that, uh, that Antarctica and Earth crust displacement. It shows an alleged discovery of an alien in Siberia. Who are involved in the Comet Research Group. Antarctica has fascinated us for a long time. From the brave scientists of today to the famous explorers of the 19th century, we've been amazed by the secrets hidden in its icy landscape. From strange phenomena and terrifying animals, the stories of adventure and discovery in this frozen land keep capturing our imagination. However, Russian scientists have discovered something terrifying in Antarctica. What could they have uncovered in Antarctica that is so scary? Join us as we unravel the terrifying discovery made by Russian scientists in Antarctica. Number 20, Lake Vostok. In 2012, Russian scientists made an amazing discovery in Antarctica. They managed to drill through the thick ice to reach Lake Vostok's ancient waters. Their goal was to collect samples that could reveal details about past climates and the chance of life in extreme conditions. The results were astonishing. The expedition found a wide range of microbes, many of which were entirely new to science. These unique life forms have survived in complete isolation, enduring freezing temperatures, constant darkness, and immense pressure, conditions that are usually deadly for living things. The discovery of these Lake Vostok microbes raises many questions. As global temperatures rise and glaciers melt, there is a risk that these ancient organisms could be released into the oceans, potentially upsetting modern ecosystems. There are also concerns about the impact these microbes could have on human health. While the idea of a disastrous outbreak like in Michael Crichton's Andromeda strain might seem unlikely. Number 19, the Batagaika Crater. Russian scientists discovered a strange hole in Antarctica. The creation of this hole due to higher temperatures and the collapse of frozen soil is a remarkable and unique event. It is now the largest frozen soil hole in the world and its size keeps growing as the climate warms up. Currently, it is at least one kilometer long and drops 100 meters deep. The hole continues to expand rapidly, about 10 meters each year, causing concerns for nearby areas because of frequent landslides. Despite the potential dangers, this event has unexpectedly given researchers and scientists a positive outcome. The fast growth of the hole has uncovered a wealth of preserved materials. Among these discoveries are ancient forests, pollen, and the remains of various animals like musk oxen, mammoths, horses, and more. These fossils found in the hole provide valuable information about the climate over a long period, from 200,000 to 650,000 years. While the hole's growth poses a serious problem, the scientific community gains priceless knowledge from these uncovered fossils. This amazing discovery sheds light on Earth's past climates, helping researchers understand the planet's history better and potentially revealing how climate change has affected ecosystems over thousands of years. It's a fascinating and somewhat ironic twist that something dangerous has also led to such an important scientific discovery. Number 18, frozen alien. Russian scientists have had encounters with beings from outer space in the frozen icy land of Antarctica. One such interesting event happened in Siberia's Amori region on a cold December day. The area was covered in two feet of snow and surrounded by thick forests, but had few people. According to local reports, a man was walking his dog when they found a strange three-foot creature lying in the snow. The creature, described as having dark grayish skin and no clear facial features, seemed hurt with a missing limb, which made it hard to identify. Witnesses who recorded the scene were sure they had met an extraterrestrial being, adding to the mystery. Interestingly, this wasn't the first time such a creature was said to be seen in Russia. In 1996, a local woman said she found a similar creature in the wild, nicknamed Alashenko by the media. Surprisingly, she said the creature was alive when she found it. These sightings keep speculation alive about the chance of beings from outer space visiting Earth. To shed some light on this situation, a team of experts was consulted starting with field biologist Lucy Eckersley. She quickly dismissed the idea that the creature could be human, pointing out its small size and unique head shape. Instead, Eckersley suggested it might be a primate with unusually long arms, similar to a squirrel monkey. However, the idea of a squirrel monkey in Siberia seemed very unlikely, raising questions about its origin. Could it have escaped from a zoo? As the mystery deepened, Forensic investigator Chase Klosky analyzed the video footage and noticed a significant problem. 
There were no signs of blood or wreckage usually found in crash landings involving aliens. Typically, such events leave behind debris and scorch marks, but the snow around the creature was undisturbed. Klosky concluded that the video was likely a hoax made by people who enjoy creating content about aliens, much to the disappointment of serious UFO researchers. Number 17, Fort Zverev. Fort Zverev is a fascinating old fort with a strange and spooky history. This was an astonishing discovery by Russian scientists. Its unique mushroom-shaped design sets it apart from other forts built in the 1870s. Over the years, it has changed a lot, serving as a storage place for sea mines, a spot for storing ammo, and a place for military training, even after World War II. But the most important thing that ever happened was a huge fire in the basement, where they kept a substance like napalm. This fire burned incredibly hot, over 2,000 degrees Celsius, and it melted the fort's bricks. After the fire, the fort looked strange, with fake red brick icicles that made it seem like a forge. Photos of Fort Zverev might show a surreal scene, but it's a fascinating place for history fans and anyone who likes mysterious spots. If you're nearby, checking out this unique fort would be a really interesting experience, letting you see its strange past and the marks left by the fire that changed how it looks forever. Number 16, blue light in Lake Baikal. In 2015, a group of experienced Russian scientists encountered something unusual during a routine exploration trip. They managed to capture video footage of a strange, bright, blue-green light glowing beneath the surface of Lake Baikal. This lake is well known for odd events, with locals often talking about mysterious occurrences in its waters. Journalist MJ Banayas shared a story from 1982 when Russian divers reportedly came across humanoid beings dressed in shiny silver suits in Lake Baikal. These divers were stunned and faced deadly consequences as they rushed to escape from the depths. Video forensic analyst Michael Primo examined the footage and found no signs of digital editing, suggesting the light wasn't created by CGI. Physics professor Michio Kaku ruled out the possibility of the light coming from an external source like a searchlight or the moon, keeping the mystery alive. Marine biologist Shea Congo also concluded that the light couldn't be from glowing marine life, as Lake Baikal is a freshwater lake with no known glowing creatures. Congo dismissed the idea that the light came from a human-made underwater research vessel. The experts couldn't figure out exactly what caused the strange light. They guessed it might be some kind of advanced underwater technology that's hard to understand. This event is still a mystery, leaving open the possibility that it might be from aliens. Two years later, researchers were even more puzzled when a mysterious mass death of seals occurred in the lake. This added even more intrigue and mystery to Lake Baikal. Number 15, ancient meteorites. Antarctica, with its endless white landscape, has become a key spot for finding meteorites, which are ancient pieces of asteroids or comets that have fallen to Earth. The stark, snow-covered terrain and the lack of other rocks make it easier to spot these meteorites, making Antarctica an ideal place for meteorite hunters. However, the age and origins of some meteorites found by Russian scientists add an intriguing twist to these space rocks. One of the most remarkable finds is a meteorite called ALH84001. This meteorite is thought to have come from Mars after a huge asteroid impact blasted it off the Martian surface. What makes ALH84001 especially fascinating though somewhat unsettling, is the controversial claim that it might contain fossilized Martian bacteria. If true, this could suggest that life once existed on Mars, raising unsettling questions about whether we might not be alone in the universe. Despite years of debate and skepticism about finding alien life, this possibility challenges our understanding of our place in the cosmos and the potential for life beyond Earth. Another significant discovery by Russian scientists is a meteorite from a massive asteroid collision that happened around 470 million years ago in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The meteorite itself isn't alarming, but the event it represents is catastrophic, showing how powerful and destructive cosmic events can be. These discoveries show the deep connection between life on Earth and the cosmic events happening in space. They are potential dangers from space and the ongoing risks faced by life on our planet. Number 14, Gembertsev Subglacial Mountains. Antarctica is often thought of as a barren and flat ice-covered land, but this idea was turned upside down in the late 1950s 
When Russian explorers and international scientists used radar to map the bedrock of Antarctica, they discovered something surprising, a hidden mountain range beneath the ice. This range, now known as the Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains, has peaks and valleys that rival the Alps in height, yet it has been hidden under the East Antarctic ice sheet for centuries. These mountains are believed to be over 500 million years old, making them one of the planet's oldest mountain systems. Their existence challenges current scientific beliefs about how mountains form and last over time. According to geological understanding, such ancient mountains should have eroded long ago. But the Gambertsev Mountains have managed to stay intact, hidden under thick ice. Often referred to as ghost mountains, these peaks are only visible through indirect methods like radar and seismic surveys. Their hidden nature and the mystery surrounding them intrigue scientists and spark a sense of wonder and curiosity. Studying these ghostly peaks offers insights into Earth's geological past and how climate change might affect such ancient features. Yet the secrets of these mountains also bring an element of uncertainty and intrigue as they continue to challenge our understanding of Earth's history. Number 13, Shagir Idol. The oldest wooden sculpture ever found is a really interesting piece of history from the Mesolithic era. This amazing idol, carved about 12,000 years ago, just after the last ice age, has great historical value. It was found in 1890, buried four meters deep in a peat bog on the eastern slope of the Middle Urals. When discovered by Russian scientists, the idol was in 10 separate pieces. A skilled professor first put them together, and later in 1914, an archeologist arranged them into a different pattern. Through careful study and examination, experts figured out how this old artifact was made. They found that three different chisels were used to carve it. And surprisingly, one of these chisels was made from the lower jawbone of a beaver with its front teeth sharpened for the job. This find has changed our understanding of ancient human art. Before this idol was found, it was believed that humans started creating ritual art around 9,000 years ago. However, this idol pushes that timeline back by thousands of years, showing new details about humanity's early creativity and artistic efforts. During the Mesolithic era, the idol held importance not just due to its age, but also because it provided a fascinating view into the culture and customs of our ancient forebears. This discovery has enabled researchers to gain deeper insights into the early forms of art and ceremonies practiced by ancient societies, offering us a rare peek into our distant history. Number 12, the buzzer. Russian scientists have discovered an unusual radio frequency in the icy. For over 50 years, a strange radio broadcast known as the buzzer has regularly sent out a repeating sound broken up by occasional Russian voices. The mystery of where it comes from and what it does has fascinated many fans, including Ryan Sham, who's into radio hobbies and runs a website about it. Investigator Chase Klotsky and other experts think the buzzer might be linked to the old Soviet Union. They believe it might have been used for underwater communication or as part of a nuclear defense system called the Dead Hand Station. This system is based on the idea of mutual destruction. If Russia were ever attacked and badly damaged, Stopping the buzzer would automatically trigger a nuclear response against the West. But military expert Tim McMillan doubts the buzzer has anything to do with nuclear weapons, especially since its signal stopped in 2010 without any disasters. He also questions if it could be used for underwater communication because of its high frequency. Some experts like Dr. Gottesman and McMillan think the buzzer might be a number station. These are used by spy agencies to send secret messages by reading off numbers. It's an old-fashioned but effective way for deep cover spies to get instructions safely without using modern digital methods. Despite these ideas, no one knows for sure what the buzzer is really for. It might still be an active Russian number station, or it might just be using its frequency as a placeholder. Whatever its real job is, the buzzer remains a fascinating mystery that interests fans around the world, making everyone want to find out more clues. Number 11, Lake Karachai. Lake Karachai, one of the lakes uncovered by Russian scientists, located in central Russia among the southern Ural Mountains, has a chilling story that unfolded gradually over the years. Initially a calm lake, its fate changed dramatically in 1951 when the Soviet Union made a crucial decision. They chose to use it as a dumping site for radioactive waste from the nearby Mayak nuclear storage and processing facility. 
This decision was necessary because the lake was too small to be used for cooling purposes, but its small size made it convenient for getting rid of highly radioactive materials that couldn't be safely stored underground. Unfortunately, the original plan to use the lake for temporary storage had disastrous results. The goal was to eventually return the radioactive material to the Mayak plant, but unexpected events led to a catastrophic outcome. The lake quickly became deadly, becoming one of the most polluted and dangerous places on Earth. Its levels of radioactivity were similar to those seen in the infamous Chernobyl disaster. Lake Karachai shows the outcome of mishandled nuclear waste, with its effects still noticeable today. Even a short time spent close to the lake could lead to deadly radiation exposure. This makes it a dangerous place to visit, highlighting the worldwide problem of safely managing nuclear risks. Despite its dark past, the lake attracts curiosity, but should be avoided by adventurous travelers in Russia. Number 10, the Alyoshenka in Kishtim. In early August 1996 in Kishtim, Russian scientists made a surprising discovery. A local woman showed him a strange creature she called Alyoshenka. It was about 10 inches long, without hair, with brownish gray skin, and an odd skull with ridges and bulging eyes. The woman said she found Alyoshenka near a cemetery several weeks earlier. Her family took care of it until it died, initially thought to be a human fetus. Further examination by a doctor revealed puzzling details. It had no ears, nose, genitals, and notably no belly button. There was speculation that Alyoshenka might be a deformed fetus affected by fallout from a nuclear disaster in 1957 near Kishtim, which released a radioactive cloud over nearby villages. Detective Benlin even took the specimen to investigators who study unidentified flying objects, UFOs. But the case took a strange turn when Alyoshenka disappeared mysteriously. The remaining evidence includes videos and photos of Alyoshenka. Experts have debated various theories, from it being an alien specimen to a mummified baby due to ancient practices or radiation effects. The woman who found Alyoshenka was eventually sent to a mental institution. Based on video evidence, experts think Alyoshenka is likely a mummified baby. However, without a recovered body or DNA testing, the true nature of this creature remains uncertain, making it a lasting mystery. Number nine, Denisova 11. Russian scientists have discovered Denny, known scientifically as Denisova 11, which is a fossil that dates back around 90,000 years. She belonged to a young girl who was a mix of Neanderthal and Denisovan ancestry, estimated to be about 13 years old when she lived. Remarkably, Denny stands as the only known example of a first-generation mix between these ancient human species. Discovered in 2012 at the Denisova Cave in the Altai Mountains of Russia, Denny's remains are quite simple a single fossilized piece of bone. This bone piece was found among more than 2,000 other pieces that were too damaged to visually identify without careful examination. Today, modern humans still have traces of their DNA, showing that these groups mixed in the past. European groups tend to have more Neanderthal DNA, while Asian groups tend to have more Denisovan DNA. This genetic legacy has interesting effects on some modern groups. For example, Tibetans have inherited a significant number of genes from the Denisovans, which might have helped them adapt to living in high altitudes. Similarly, Greenland's native peoples also carry Denisovan DNA, possibly helping them adapt to that environment. The discovery of the first Denisovan Neanderthal mix resulting from interbreeding is particularly fascinating. Despite being genetically compatible, these ancient humans had distinct physical and cultural differences that made them unique in their own way. Number eight, the scary monument. A fascinating monument has been uncovered by Russian scientists in Antarctica. The monument has always been a place where deep feelings and important social problems are shared, and this new sculpture is no different. It has a remarkable ability to stir up strong emotions and provoke discussions, showing its power as a work of art. Whether people find it powerful or too much depends on their views and feelings. The sculpture, Children Are the Victims of Adult Vices, is particularly interesting and makes you think deeply. It shows how adults' bad habits affect innocent children, drawing attention to the bad effects these behaviors have on younger generations. Its goal is to make people more aware of how adult actions can shape children's lives and futures. Although the monument's purpose is good, its dark and ghostly portrayal can be unsettling, especially for young children. Understandably, its unveiling has sparked controversy as people have different reactions and interpretations of its message. 
Some argue that its unsettling nature effectively emphasizes the seriousness of the issue, while others question whether it's suitable for public display because it might scare children. Number seven, old wooden statues. The recent finding of a hidden path in Peru with creepy statues dating back 750 years is a truly amazing discovery. These sacred statues belong to the ancient Chen Chen civilization, a successful community before the Inca Empire. The path leads to a mysterious ceremonial yard decorated with 19 wooden statues, each about 27 inches tall. These statues show human-like figures holding tools like sickles and maybe shields. The clay masks covering their faces make them look fierce, suggesting they were made to scare away strangers. Turning to another interesting discovery, there's been talk about Russia's recent exploration in Antarctica. There are rumors that they may have found something unexpected, an ancient creature frozen in ice, possibly asleep for thousands of years. The thought of such an old monster or a new species hiding in the unknown depths of Antarctica is enough to give anyone goosebumps. Number six, the dancing trees. In a faraway part of Russia, scientists in Russia have discovered a strange forest where the trees seem to move and sway in ways that puzzle scientists. This magical place is located on the Koronian Spit in Kaliningrad, Russia, a small area of pine forest covering just eight square meters. This region is not only a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but also lies snugly between the Baltic Sea and the Koronian Lagoon. What makes this forest truly interesting is its unusual geological makeup. The Koronian Spit itself is a narrow strip of land formed over time by shifting dunes and remains of ancient glaciers. The soil here is notably porous and rich in sand and clay, which has helped the growth of a unique ecosystem full of diverse plants and wildlife. This combination of rare geological factors has created a special place unlike any other, where nature thrives in ways that continue to fascinate scientists and visitors alike. In the 1960s, trees were planted in this forest to stop the moving sands of the dunes here. Before World War II, this area was used as a gliding school by Nazi Germany. The unusual shapes of the trees have given this place the name Dancing Forest. Unlike the evenly spaced trees, the ones in this dancing forest twist into various forms. Some trees grow into knots, loops, hearts, and even intricate spirals that bend toward the ground. Other trees have curved or bent trunks, some twisted or curled into circles, reaching upwards in search of the sky. These shapes create an illusion that the trees are dancing. Over time, the dancing forest has intrigued scientists and sparked curiosity. Many studies have tried to explain why the trees grow in such strange ways, but the answers remain unclear. Experts suggest that several factors may contribute to these odd shapes, yet the exact cause of the tree distortions remains a mystery. One theory suggests that caterpillars of the pine shoot moth may harm the trees early in their growth, causing them to develop with unusual angles and shapes. These caterpillars, scientifically known as Riacionia boliana, feed on the developing buds of pine trees, disrupting their growth. When the main bud is damaged, growth continues from the remaining side buds. As these trees reach for sunlight, they adjust their growth upwards, but their unique shapes persist as a distinctive feature. In the heart of this forest, there's a belief that the trees here have been trained to twist and turn in unusual ways. Throughout history, humans have mastered the art of shaping trees for both practical and artistic reasons. It's said that a young tree can be guided to grow differently simply by placing a heavy object on its trunk for a long time. Like all plants, these trees naturally grow towards sunlight, a process known as phototropism. Whether intentionally shaped or not, this bending toward the sun can alter the tree's physical makeup. Legend has it that the strange dancing forest may owe its mystery to geological forces. The trees appear to move along with the shifting sands, which unsettles the soil beneath them. Another popular theory suggests that strong winds, a regular feature of the region, may play a role in sculpting these trees over time. Alternatively, some speculate that seismic activity or underground water sources could be causing the trees to contort. And for others, the explanation could lie in factors like nuclear radiation or geomagnetic fields affecting the tree's growth patterns. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the icy depths of Antarctica, a team of Russian scientists discovers something terrifying. They came across an ancient buried structure during a routine ice core drilling. The structure, 
A huge metal door covered with strange symbols was unlike anything they had ever seen. As they pried it open, a deep resonant hum echoed through the ice, vibrating through their bones. Inside, they found a large room lit by a ghostly green glow. The walls were decorated with mysterious, shifting paintings of otherworldly landscapes and frightening creatures. In the center of the room lay a massive, frozen being, its shape human-like but unsettlingly strange, encased in a see-through shell that pulsed rhythmically. As the scientists approached, the shell began to crack and the temperature dropped sharply. A sudden, piercing scream filled the room, causing the walls to shake. Panicked, the team scrambled to escape, but the door slammed shut behind them. Trapped and shivering, they realized the being was stirring, waking up from its long sleep, and Antarctica was no longer a silent wasteland. What do you think this ancient being is? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Number five, a prehistoric virus. The discovery of an old virus by Russian scientists, particularly the Pathovirus Sibericum, in the frozen ground of Siberia, is an amazing and interesting find. This huge virus, with its large size and many genes, was found after being frozen deep in the ice for about 30,000 years. It was kept with other frozen creatures. Although this virus does not currently pose a danger to humans or other animals, scientists are curious about what such findings could mean. The ability of these viruses to survive in frozen ground for thousands of years raises important questions about how changes in weather and human activities, such as drilling in Siberia, could affect these old germs. There is worry that as the frozen ground melts due to higher temperatures, viruses that are unknown or possibly harmful could be released into the environment. Scientists are closely watching these changes to better understand the risks linked to old viruses reappearing due to environmental changes. While there is no immediate need to worry about the specific virus found in the Siberian frozen ground, this discovery shows how important it is to study and protect against the possible effects of global climate change on our planet and its ecosystems. Number four, Lena Stone Pillars. In the distant forest of stone pillars along the Li River, Russian scientists discovered a stunning natural site. It features tall rock formations that go back around 500 million years to the Cambrian period. These impressive pillars rise to heights between 150 and 300 meters. They have been formed by layers of limestone, marlstone, dolomite, and slate, shaped over thousands of years due to their age and isolation. This special place, the Forest of Pillars, not only fascinates with its beauty, but also holds valuable insights into Earth's ancient past. Fossilized remains of old organisms found here provide important clues about the diverse life that existed half a billion years ago. Though getting to this place may require a tough journey, the experience is well worth it. Even through photos, one can see the greatness of this geological wonder. Exploring this amazing natural landscape promises an unforgettable adventure for those lucky enough to visit. Number three, woolly rhinos. The recent rediscovery of a once dead type of rhinoceros by Russian scientists, which lived in Europe and North Asia from 40,000 to 8,000 years ago, stands as a remarkable achievement. Ancient civilizations drew these impressive creatures in caves and on pottery until they mysteriously disappeared. The exact reasons for their extinction remain a hot topic among scientists, with ideas ranging from too much hunting to climate change and possible diseases. An impressive example of this extinct rhinoceros was found in Siberia and Ukraine, amazingly well-preserved with much of its original features still there. This discovery has revealed the rhino's thick brown skin and even fur, giving new information about their physical characteristics and how they adapted over time. The individual found in Siberia and Ukraine appears to have fallen into a hole in the ground where it got stuck and stayed well-preserved for thousands of years. This unique discovery offers important insights into the ancient environment and the lives of these now extinct rhinoceroses. It gives researchers key pieces of information, improving our understanding of the natural history of the area and adding a lot to the bigger story of Earth's past. Number two, strange creatures. Antarctica is a huge frozen land where rain almost never falls. Winds howl loudly, and temperatures can drop to a surprising minus 129 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite these tough conditions, this icy continent is a surprising home to many rare and unusual plants and animals. 
Russian scientists have found some really strange and interesting creatures that live in the extreme environment under the thick ice sheets. Among them are tiny microbes, crustaceans, huge squids, and spiders as big as dinner plates. There are also huge worms with golden bristles and sharp jaws. In this icy world, you'll even find clear ice fish, whose see-through skin lets you see their internal organs, and their eyes are huge. These fish have special proteins that act like antifreeze, stopping them from dying in warmer waters. Unlike humans, they don't have hemoglobin, the protein that gives our blood its red color. Antarctica may seem like a barren wasteland, but it's a hidden treasure trove of strange and unique life forms. Number one, singing ice. In Antarctica, Russian scientists have discovered a massive chunk of ice is creating some fascinating sounds. The Ross Ice Shelf, which is the biggest in Antarctica, covers an area of about half a million square kilometers, about the size of France, and is several hundred feet thick. Researchers have discovered that the winds sweeping over the snowy surface of the Ross Ice Shelf produce eerie musical vibrations. These vibrations, along with constant low-frequency sounds, are not audible to the human ear. Instead, scientists use special seismic sensors to listen to these sounds. Originally, these sensors were set up to study other aspects of the ice shelf, but they unintentionally revealed this unique music. Scientists have found that this ice music changes with the weather and climate, such as when the snow melts or storms alter the landscape. By monitoring these sounds, researchers can now track the stability of the ice shelf and assess its risk of collapsing in real time. Which of these shocking discoveries in Antarctica by Russian scientists did you find intriguing? Let us know your answer in the comments section.